Hello and welcome you all. Today in this Oracle Fusion Cloud Technical and OIC Integration Cloud Service demo. Guys, today we will be conducting a demo to highlight what this course is all about and who is eligible for this course and who should be a beneficiary for this particular course and what are the advantages that you can draw after attending this training what could be the end result that you can expect after being a fusion technical consultant okay that is something that we are going to cover into this particular course so first of all guys we are very thankful that you have given and spend your time and interest into our uh, plan demo and warm welcome to each one of you who has being available and joined our sessions okay guys talking about this particular course we are going to cover this course on a weekday basis monday to saturday evening 8 30 to 10 o'clock okay generally it will be an online course and the duration for this particular course is 45 days okay in case you have any queries or something based on the pl planned enrollment we can change a little bit like uh, it may be a five days week or six days that we can decide later as well okay guys as part of this particular course first 15 minutes i will be giving you a very brief introduction what we are all about what this course is all about what is the kind of people like you might be having some experienced professionals unexperienced people or you are you might be having a technical background non-technical background it background non-it background so before you start and get up enroll with us there may be certain queries that you might be having so first of all we will like to give you an highlight like to address all those queries through our sessions and make you more comfortable what this course is all about okay guys fusion oracle technical course if we cover these particular four words each word has a different meaning oracle is a company oracle is a software industry this is a pioneer into its own domain oracle is the market leader for last four decades okay fusion is the tool oracle is the company who has come up with the tool that is a fusion as a tool application name is fusion and this particular tool is not your web app application it is not a windows application it's a cloud-based application that can be accessible through the browser what are the cloud-based application guys in case you have access gmail in case you have access netflix if you have seen any sort of applications like banking applications that you can access through over an internet those are the cloud-based application and guys this course is all about to understand the technicalities okay technicalities in the sense like how being as a technical consultant what will be the job what will be the role and responsibility what will be the day-to-day -day work profile of a technical consultant that we will be dealing with and how we are going to achieve those sort of technical consult competencies through this particular course to pursue our career in this particular domain okay and guys this is a specially designed course generally if you go and check into the market across domain into different institutes or other training providers as well you may be getting an opportunity or you may get a course where it may be either oracle fusion technical or oic separately but we we have been privileged that we are combining these two tools okay and providing you the end-to-end -end training about the technicality involved okay in addition to that guys if if it may concerns to you you might be having a erp experience somebody who does not know what is erp what is fusion what is the domain what is module we will be covering all those things from scratch okay but anybody who's from the erp experience either from the oracle or sap or different tools guys in erp whatever your domain is you might be into supply chain module financial module or hca module this course has been designed to cover all the technicalities all the tools and all the techniques involved into fusion as a tool fusion as a platform okay so guys taking a hand the first thing is like uh, we would like to address that why you want to go with the fusion or any of the erp tool it's fusion is not the only erp tool we will be understanding what is erp over a period of time but let's consider there is a erp tool but oracle is also providing you the erp tool ibm is also having its tool microsoft is also having its tool what is the purpose that if you are learning any course why we will choose oracle fusion okay there are key bullet points based on that you could get a better understanding that why we should need to go for this sort of thing 
like there has been huge opportunities into oracle space because oracle is a market leader okay on site opportunities guys majorly all the bigger mncs as well as the international organizations are using oracle as their primary source of platform to use and manage their operations to their businesses to their financials and to manage their employee related data in their human capital management guys this is very high much high in demand okay since these are very high end tools and everything that is the reason the package is also competitively good in market the fresher will get roughly from 8 lakh to 12 lakh okay that is the market and uh, for somebody who is being very skilled and having proficient competency and going to very mid size organization still they can achieve almost 15 to 18 lakhs if you are going to some big four companies or something 22 lakh for 5 5 years 6 years experience like that okay guys the main advantage that you should need to go into any sort of this erp tools or something that after attending this course after being a competent into these particular tools and technologies you should be an a consultant you will be providing your consulting experiences for which you could charge you could be pro not doing a development sort of job just writing the code and not sure which piece of code be, will be delivered at what time in which software it is more of a real time consulting experience that you will be encountered with business problems for which you will evaluate apply your skills apply your knowledge and provide a real time consulting to your end customers to sustain and to suitably provide the solution to their problems okay guys i will be discussing more in this first of all as you know that there could be a volatile market it may be impacted with some sort of recessions and all but anybody who's into the domain of erp if you have been into any erp domain or especially with the oracle related erp domain the tools if you are specialized with the oracle it is a recession free tool no matter whether the recession will come or not come your job will be always secured okay in my personal career itself i have seen two major recessions okay but i have not seen any single person who is competent and companies are uh, making making any harsh decision onto those particular consultants considering the recession or bad market or something okay visible impact of your delivery guys whatever the work that you are working on you will be getting a direct impact you will be seeing what is happening why the code has been written where it is being getting utilized stability guys there is no need it is a very vast environment oracle being a organization which you can consider oracle there is a proverb that we used to use sometime that oracle is a ocean of technologies what does that mean it has so many tools so many techniques so many technologies that you keep learning you keep evaluating yourself you keep exploring new things as a consultant as an individual you will be always having an opportunity to learn grow and deliver okay guys opportunity to make connections since you are directly into the consulting role you are dealing with the end user business user you might be dealing with the cfo cho chro okay you might be dealing directly with the hr of the organization understanding their organization policies you might be working with the financial department audit department implementing those sort of things the law enforcement that has happened suppose the new taxation laws has been in announced by the indian government or us us government or uk government that has to be incorporated for your customer so it is something that while you are discussing and dealing with the customers working and spending time with them understanding their needs providing the solution to them there is a vast opportunity that you will be building a connections okay and guys this is a multi billion tool that uh, oracle has offered so it is not something like small scale industries or something is using these tool so you will be always being privileged to work with the mega clients okay like tata tata airlines adani group reliance group emirates airlines general electricals emirates airlines okay so all big big size players are your end clients or your customers or your employers to whom you are working with adding an additional advantage or a weight to your profile okay moving ahead guys this is something very brief that why you should choose any oracle any erp tool or especially in the erp why you should choose about the fusion as an application okay 
in addition to that guys okay that is good enough that okay we are going to choose this but why we will choose why you will choose us the main reason is that we have been very uh, high in demand and we have made a hundred percent successful delivery rate okay we have a very large review base we have trained almost 20 uh, thousand plus students almost uh, we have completed 1000 batches okay we have provided tremendous support offline during the course and after the course we have been providing multiple aspects which has not been provided and discussed by other competitors or other uh, training institutes that we will be discussing further okay guys just i am posing for two minutes please if you have any questions any doubts in case you are not able to hear me or in case I'm uh, going fast or slow, please raise your hands and let me know. Accordingly, we will customize our trainings. Over to you guys. Subhash, Vijay, Vikrant, anyone? Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello, sir. This is Bhavani. You, what is the need for going for fusion applications when you have a cloud more? You have Google Cloud, AWS, everything, no? Then what is the need? What is the strength of the Fusion applications? What is the need for us to go for Fusion applications? Sure, sure, sure. Uh, my question was only related to, like, uh, is any feedback about the pace and voice on any difficulty? All these things you will be able to understand once we will be covering this particular demo, okay? All these uh, sheets we need to cover up. After that, you will get a clarity, okay? Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I have one a doubt. Uh, yes. Just wanted to know, like, uh, if uh, this is for the a uh, core developer role, right? No, this is not a developer role. This is a consulting role. We okay. let's be into the session, and you will be getting a clarity. All okay. right. Thank you. Yeah, you are audible. Thank you. Hello. I got to know whatever I have discussed yeah. is appropriately understood to you. Okay. Now let's proceed further and cover up different aspects that we are going to make you understand so that you can make your mind to understand where you are heading towards okay what could be your journey with us for next two months based on those attentive journeys learning this particular course state taking up the assignments what will be the expected outcome that you can think over this particular course and training okay so guys now so i have one question before going to next my name yes. is Vilkar. Uh, yes. uh, is this trainer a uh, training is a pure technical or as well as for the functional and uh, during the training you will also show the navigations of a uh, little bit not the uh, throughout the module so um, i mean uh, basic navigations actually i'm the ebs technical sides i so, understood your query i understood your yeah. query just be patient let's cover up and you will be getting a clarity okay oh, oh. uh sir vamsi here so yes. can you uh, tell me about your experience i forgot like i was uh, john late sir i'm i'm just about to start a we just did the welcome screen see all these steps we are going to cover okay just allow okay. me five minutes we will be covering all. okay so just request you to everyone keep yourself on mute and now let's we start this is something that we have given a high level picture that we what is this particular tool what are the core advantages and why you should choose us going ahead guys talking about myself myself is fusion i did my b in computer science i am total having 18 years of experience 12 years into corporate training experience i am completely into oracle related technologies okay currently i am working as a chief architect for one of the uh, global organizations okay i have been working with tcs oracle general electronics and while during this particular course and contents while we are learning this course we will be learning and discussing about my journey how i have evolved and grown from the level that i have started to the level that i have reached okay we will be taking up the real-time practical examples discussions scenarios case studies during this part of course okay that's how we will be get to know each other i will be getting know to you and you will be getting to understand me more okay guys uh, the methodology that i used to follow is like uh, let's learn together and grow together okay i request you to follow the things that i am saying the assignments to be followed and we will have a discussions about the things any doubts any queries we will be taking as part of uh, the course curriculum we will be covering those things in the day-to-day -day session as well 
okay that is something a brief discussion about me guys we will get to know more about each other in the following sessions okay talking about guys uh, you might have heard about certain buzzwords cloud okay cloud platform okay just understand and keep these things or the words into your mind each and every terminology we will be discussing in two days of demos okay you might have heard about the keywords like no code or low code no code low code of platform okay so guys first of all the question that has arrived whether this is a technical course or a functional course whether we are covering any functional navigations and all those sort of things guys we will be covering all these things making you understand what this course is all about and you will be able to understand the core of the things then you should be in a stage to decide whether to pursue this course or not okay talking about guys further on offerings as you will be going to take up this particular course with us guys what you will be getting a benefit with us this is a complete online training you does not need to go anywhere you can attend this training onto the scheduled time daily from anywhere from your laptop from your mobile devices and all those sort of things best recommended is that we recommend you to attend from a peaceful and calmly environment through your laptops okay guys whatever the trainings that we are going to cover for that you will be getting a lifetime access suppose today you are going to be get registered immediately you will be getting a lifetime access for a day-to-day -day daily recorded videos training documentation any content that we have prepared already ppt or pdf you will be having a lifetime access for that okay in addition to that guys if you are going to learn anything remember those days that first time you start learning sending an email from gmail or something you get yourself registered in gmail you might be excited you don't know how to compose how to send how to delete how you get to know once you practice once you send the mails once you receive the mails you read the mails that's how guys so what we feel that to learn any tool to, to learn any new thing it is not something that we will be just teaching and giving you the brief knowledge or practical demonstration it is like you need to practice as well so that is the reason guys we are providing you the fusion instance okay complete five months instance break free instance and whatever you are going to create in that that will remain there for five months so it will safeguard your time and efforts it's not going to be refreshed on a weekly basis or monthly basis okay in addition to that guys oic instance we are going to learn the oic also as a tool what this tool is all about that we will be covering into next 10-15 minutes but just to understand that these are the offerings that you will be getting in addition to that job assistance will be provided sample resumes will be provided career counseling one-on-one -on -one discussions if you want with the trainer or with the admin or with the uh, more skilled professionals into the same domain we will arrange those sort of career counseling as well okay guys at our hyderabad branch mock interviews are get regularly getting conducted you can book yourself okay reach out to admin book your mock interviews and you can get yourself trained and get yourself evaluated through mock interviews any sort of references and opportunities that we encounter lot of people has been getting placed through our institute as well we will be providing and since as i told you that this is not a coding job this is not a developer profile this is more of a consulting profile guys there is a very major difference between a developer and consultant developer is very restricted domain that you have to work into this pattern this work this code well consulting job is that your aim your aim is to provide the solution whether the to achieve that solution you have to apply different skills different technologies different techniques different sort of uh, frameworks whatever that is required you will bring all those things to achieve the solution okay so guys once you have been building those sort of competency that understanding the problem and giving the solutions for those problem that means you are cultivating that sort of nature that you should be able to provide the solutions to the customers to end users to business users so definitely you will grow and you will get your confidence and then we can utilize and offer you a freelancing opportunities as well okay guys anybody who's switching the career switching the domain or anybody who's just passed out or pursuing their engineering any sort of internship requirements if you have 
we will be offering those sort of internship sort of opportunities as well. Okay. Clear as of now, guys. Okay. Going ahead, guys. There may be a uh, doubts you might be having. Do we provide any foundation? You does not know anything. Okay. Everything will be provided, guys. There will be no shortcuts here in this particular course. Whether you are a fresher, you are a skilled, unskilled, you are a technical, non-technical, working, non-working, student, passed out, retired person, everyone. This course is for everyone. There is no discrimination. You may be having a technical knowledge, no technical knowledge, programming knowledge, any specific domain knowledge or any prior experience into any domain. That doesn't matter. Anyone can take up this particular course. Okay. Guys, majorly we can classify that whether you are a fresher or experienced professional, fresher with the IT background or non-IT background, or experienced with an IT or non-IT background. For all these set of people, this particular course has been designed and could be a best option to kickstart your career or to change your career into a direction that will take you ahead into your life. Okay. Fine, guys. So, guys, let's understand what is ERP, which said that, okay, this is an Oracle Fusion tool. This is an ERP tool. ERP tool is of Oracle, which is Fusion. But some of you might be aware what is ERP. Some of you might not be aware of the ERP. So, guys, let's understand what is ERP. Before we start with these particular things, let me give you a very brief what we are going to cover. We will be explaining what is VRP, what are the different companies, they might be having different tools, okay? What will be the role of a consultant? What will be the products or domain that we are going to learn, okay? And after covering this particular course, what could be the job opportunities? What will be the different sort of work profile that we can fit into? All those things we will be covering and explaining in next five minutes okay guys as part of this particular training first of all guys please make your misconceptions clear although the tool although the training names means fusion technical but if you are not technical guys this is a no code low code of platform very minimum coding is required no coding is required technical means that whatever the tools that has been provided by Oracle to use for day-to-day -day operations, to expedite the work, to bring the accuracy to the system, we are learning those tools. Guys, like suppose if we say that, okay, we are making you to learn how to send the mails through Gmail. That means there is a tool called Gmail. We are making you understand technically how to write a mail, how to log in, how to compose a mail. If I say that, okay, we are making you learn the Excel or Microsoft Word, that does not mean that we are supposed to learn how to build this tool, how Microsoft has built writing lakhs of line of code to build this tool to show that this file I can and home I can. That is not we are learning. What we are learning, if this tool is there, how to use this tool? What is the application of this tool? Like if we put one and if we put two, if we select both these two and if we drag this, we will be getting a number increasing by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, guys, so the technical work means, the technical keyword is that to learn how to use these particular tools. Since we are learning these tools, that is the reason it is called technicality, okay? Clear. Fine, guys, so let's start. Guys, ERP. ERP stands for Enterprise Resource Planning. Okay. Planning means, guys, let's break this word word by word. Planning means any planning that we are going to do. Resource means the planning to handle, the planning to manage the resources. Okay. And enterprise means at the large level, at the bigger level, if we are requiring to manage the resources, we need some software. Which is that software? That software is called ERP. The concept behind to manage those resources is ERP. Guys, like suppose if I say that we are going to conduct a meeting, okay? As, a, as an employee, you are supposed to conduct a meeting. So to conduct a meeting between three people, you can easily manage, you can go to their desk and tell that, okay, meet us at the boardroom and we will discuss something. But if 
you are supposed to conduct some event for your organization okay then guys what you need if you're managing some event maybe 10,000 people has to be invited what you need you need somewhere some sort of technicality being involved some sort of you can say software is being involved to manage those things so that is the reason guys suppose let's take an example of Toyota okay Toyota is the organization who's supposed to build and manufacture cars okay for cars they might be having so many things to be required that is the raw material agreed so to manage this raw material whether they need to order the bolts or not to bring the bolts when they are supposed to call for the raw material related to the uh, glasses when they are supposed to get the uh, seat covers when they are supposed to get the wheels of the car when the steering when the engine will should need to be delivered how many quantities they need to keep into their stock and all that is the reason guys to manage all these things Toyota is the organization which is famous which is world famous for the zero inventory why and how they have achieved that guys suppose Toyota is managing to produce 10 cars in a month while they invested their money and purchased the raw material for 100 cars okay so what has happened in a month they are going to produce 10 cars while they have invested to purchase the raw material for 100 cars so 90 cars which are not going to be produced they are going to be produced in nine next months while they have invested upfront so that there is a direct loss of their investment their capital income has been on loss with no interest right so that is the reason what has happened Toyota has invested hugely into a resource planning tool resource planning tool in such a way that Toyota has a zero inventory model what is zero inventory model like suppose Toyota is going to produce 15 cars it has no inventory whatever the inventory it has it is on a regular basis on a real-time basis it has only 15 engines in the in their warehouse so that they can utilize and build the car okay there is no extra inventory that means they can cut down they does not need to invest they does not need to maintain they does not need to store those things they need not to invest onto the security like suppose if you have purchased the engine for 100 cars you need you need a warehouse to keep them you need to make some sort of arrangements you need to make the security that no one should have them no one should damage them and all those sort of things that's how guys Toyota has grown in in nine in 1950s and 16 this concept has came and Toyota is using that concept since that time okay okay going ahead guys this is a concept this is a concept so there may be different different organization different IT organizations are available that can utilize this concept and come up with certain tools right so guys what has happened uh these are the different key players into the market which has come up with their tools okay like oracle itself has produced multiple erp tools it is not that the fusion is the only erp tool over the last 40 years oracle might have come up with different tools okay sap is also very good and renowned erp tool that has also has its own product workday is also renowned tool people so service now and these are the very high end and tools in addition to that there may be mid-size organization low si low size sort of uh, software organizations also which have their own tools guys among all these tools every company is using this concept and terminology and the behavior and the expectation to manage the resources and they are coming up with their own set of tools out of these hundred and thousands of tools that are available this particular course and training is to focus on to fusion as an application okay guys talking about that once we said that resources what could be the resources guys suppose in an organization manpower that could be the resources right what are the number of employees that we are working with 
which are the employees what is their salary what is their name what is their health what is their address what is their contact details what is the education details they are holding what are the learning requirements they are holding what is the bonus that we are supposed to give all these things that is related to the manpower that is managing the people managing the employee of your organization how you will manage consider an example of a tata group the tata group is being run and managed by tata trust and tata sons which is also having 40 different organizations having almost across 15 lakh employees working for them across 80 countries so how they are going to manage all these things guys this cannot be managed into notebook or something for that you require some sort of software what is that specialized software that specialized for software is enterprise resource planning softwares okay similar way guys i have given you example other than manpower other than the mankind for any organization there may be a material there may be a finished material or there may be a raw material you need to manage that raw material right like if you are building a car if you are constructing like suppose if you know there is an organization called mr group if mr group is building a Bhuj Khalifa what they are supposed to do they have to manage lot of manpower which engineer which service engineer which labor at what time which schedule what will be the cost what will be the salary they have to manage the material what will be the raw material at what time at which date this material has to be delivered from which supplier we are supposed to buy this material what will be the cost what will be the quality if we are receiving the material what will be the parameters check that we need to consider and pass that material to be accepted in our warehouse if the material has been received in our warehouse what are the arrangements that we need to do to keep that material safe and steady in our warehouse all these things guys are what to manage your resources so your material is also your resource and guys the third resource that for any organization any business that is required to manage is money money matters guys like how the money is being managed what is the amount of money that you are holding what is your cash flow how much you are holding in your bank how much is your debt how much is your credit how much you are owing to the market how much you are owing to your customers how you are much you are supposed to pay to your employees how much is that uh, debt that you are supposed to pay for your raw material to manage those money also guys you need a software so guys earlier before 1950s it is not something that the erp was not there or the software was not there software was there okay but the thing is there is a software that is supposed to manage manpower there is a software to manage material there may be a software to manage money but over the period of time technology has evolved in such a way the capacity the capability of a software the capability of a hard hardware in such a way that we end up bringing all these managing all these resources to be managed through a one software that is the reason it is called enterprise resource planning clear guys so guys these are these are the key these are the key main organization which might be having different tools we will be focusing on to this particular tool talking about this tool guys fusion being the application this is the r13 version if someone will say okay you are saying that you are a fusion technical consultant or a fusion consultant which version you are into guys we are learning r13 for last seven years r13 is the last version oracle is not coming up with the new base version when the oracle fusion was launched guys initially it was launched into 2011 this is the latest patch the version is r13 but we are getting some patches getting applied when these patches are getting applied guys quarterly every quarter oracle will release some new features new enhancement and that will be free out of the box oracle will own those we does not need any dba we does not need any team oracle will deploy those patches into your system it is like guys suppose you have purchased the iphone iphone is on some particular version some new advancements has came and or iphone apple company has released you the new software that you can upgrade okay it is as simple as that that is the beauty of oracle and that is the beauty of any cloud-based application okay guys you must have heard a word called cloud 
let's understand what will be the cloud model okay and why the cloud has come what are the benefits advantages whether we should as an organization go with the cloud or not why organizations are moving into cloud whether we will learn the tools or the techniques that are more inclined toward the cloud application or we will go to the uh, windows based application or a on premises application okay so guys generally what has happened any software around the world which you are going to use or understood or have encountered they might be having three major ways of subscription okay one is on premises on premises model is guys it is very expensive but it is expensive but it is more controllable like suppose this is your box this is your box you want some software let's suppose the software is xxx so this software has been installed into your box so since this has been installed into your box it may be very expensive because software has to come and being getting installed you have to manage the in infrastructure you have to manage the security you have to manage everything at your own so you have to invest hugely into on premises software but yes since it is in within your boundary okay that means it gives you more control that if you want to control that okay it should not be at this side you need to put it into this side you want to make it centralized you want to put it like this that's how you can do and control the things okay but guys if you are installing the software you need to have the infrastructure you need to have the ram server you need to run the server into your premises if the server is running very big computers are running you need to make sure that there will be 100% power backup you need to make sure the server room should be having an ac you need to make sure that okay the server room has been protected with theft no one can break the glass and come and take your hard disk all those things you have to manage at your own instead of that guys nowadays more advanced thing is cloud based we will not buy anything we will not keep any uh, security arrangements or something we will be just subscribe that means less control cheap maintenance what has happened you need you does not need to have this box oracle itself has keeping some box we don't know where oracle is keeping but oracle is keeping that box within that box within that box oracle has given us one space maybe that space is this xxx is for myself and maybe this yyy is for someone else okay in this box this xxx belongs to pius yyy belongs to shilpa so we are not maintaining anything locally for each individual but very big computer very big server has been maintained by oracle okay and we are just subscribing suppose guys it's like you want a laptop okay but either you will go to our market and purchase a laptop of 80000 rupees but you know that okay laptop is required only for 3 days of time and there will be a possibility some good companies offering you that okay you can rent out the laptop for 1000 per day okay no deposit nothing everything we will be providing in addition to that if you rent out the laptop from us we will be giving going to give you the free internet dongle as well so guys will you be interested to invest 80000 or you will be just spending 1000 per day with the free internet and use the service that has been offered okay that is the advantage that is the cloud that is it is more cheap it is more easy to maintain but yes it is going to give you less control guys if this is your laptop no one can claim and no one will stop you you can install any software you can move your mobile data into your laptop because this is personal while here they are providing you for certain services they will not allow you to put the pen drive and all so definitely there will be less control in the cloud okay in addition to that guys the third subscription model which is a combination of both which is a combination of this cloud based as well as on premises the best example guys let's take an example of laptop what has happened laptop has its own hard disk okay but in addition to that guys are apart from this uh, hard disk you may get yourself registered with some sort of cloud space provider okay 
there may be some cloud hard disk also that you may register like g drive there is a google drive that offers you how much 15 gb of space okay so your hard disk might be 100 gb and your google drive is also offering you 15 gb so whatever the things that you keep into your hard disk that is something guys it's your responsibility that you want to access regularly that you want to keep into your control that you can save into your hard disk but the things that you does not want to access regularly you can keep it into your google drive but if you're putting that into google drive and tomorrow you want to access this google drive and google is down then definitely you are not able to access you have to compromise that or in case something has happened at google and your data has been deleted so what has happened it is not your responsibility but you can case you can fight a case against them and claim them and all those sort of things are happening why i am explaining this that you should get a complete picture once you being a consultant you will be going sir, and meeting the customers so one doubt like here we we are following the hybrid model or like the cloud model only in, in our institute sir this course is very vast okay you will be learning all these things. I am just giving you the overview and greater pictureization of the things so that you will be getting prepared. See, the motto of this particular course is not to train you as a fresher. And after completing this course, you can go and say that, okay, I am a fusion technical trained consultant for two months. Our objective is that after completing this course, you can claim that, okay, I am a working professional having two to three years of fusion experience okay that is the reason we are emphasizing and providing a extra bit of information in terms of concept in terms of scenarios and in terms of terminology being used okay if you attend this course and go to any interview if you get selected and then go onto a floor with your colleagues you are discussing they are talking something and you do not understand this is not something that is up to your level this is high management people will decide which software they want to buy whether they need to buy oracle or sap if they have purchased sap which tool they want to buy from sap if they want that tool to be into own premises or cloud or hybrid all these things depends on to the management level i will be explaining what could be the key factors on which they will decide okay like guys let's give an example let's there is an government organization maybe you can say uh indian financial services indian financial services what they say that okay i do understand that it is cheap it is bet better and something but i cannot go with the cloud service because my data is very sensitive at any cost i don't want my data to be exposed to any third party server i want the data within my prescribed boundary only so in that case guys those sort of complicated requirements those sort of customers where the data is very sensitive like suppose us federal government is going to maintain the data of their security agents so although the cloud is safe no one can access in this same box xxx is one customer whose data is also there and yyy customer is data there and oracle is giving you 100 percent guarantee and claim either oracle or google or ibm whosoever you are using a cloud it is not something that xxs can access the server of yy or yy can access the data of xx it is not possible and it is not going to happen but still there may be certain needs because of that the customer the client says no at any cost i cannot do like suppose guys there is a european com countries okay in european companies guys what has happened it is good that you are maintaining and providing me this it is cheap so they said there is a company called suppose bmw bmw wants to buy oracle oracle says that okay the best thing is to take a cloud okay they also understood and they said that okay we will take a cloud subscription only so they will say that okay you said that okay you are maintaining the server you tell me where is your server they will say that okay we are maintaining the server into us we are maintaining the server into mumbai we are maintaining the server into uh, you can say in us we are maintaining into chicago 
in india we are going to maintain into mumbai and in australia we are maintaining into sydney okay but what happened guys since this is a european company in europe there is a government regulation there is a strict role government regulation that your data european company data cannot move outside of your boundaries of the country so they will say that okay i understand oracle is good company and you're offering me very good economical and best to use cloud-based offering but you don't have any server into germany suppose okay there is no server into germany okay so they will say no boss i cannot move my data as per government regulations i want if you have any server into european region i can opt with cloud if no then okay let me go and decide i will use own premises i will bear the cost but i will go with the own premises clear guys this is not something that we should need to be involved into but yes it is good to know that how the subscription has been taken care okay any questions any doubts as of now No, no, you can yeah. go ahead. Yeah, yeah you please. I have one question. Okay. Yes. Uh, because, see, this is not, uh, uh, as a being as a technical, this is not our area. Okay. Uh, uh, what is the, who is here to uh, subscribe and uh, uh, who has to take care of this one? But as a technical, what we have to take care of that? Sir, we are at the fourth slide only, right? We are mm -hmm. going to cover all these things, right? Just give me some time. As per as Okay. Give us, allow us some time. In next half an hour, more things will be clear to you. Okay? Yeah. yeah. As per as Yeah. Because, because I have to give all these things considering like there will be a varied group of people who are joining and they might be, some of us might be having already 20 years of experience. They they know all these things. They might not be involved into doing the transaction, doing the technicality, but they are at that level that they are deciding that whether they are going to opt with own premises or cloud. Definitely there will be a uh, members into this particular group up to that level as well who will be deciding and taking care of that. While there are there are very freshers who doesn't know even that, okay, the software has to be purchased, why to purchase, who to purchase. If you are running a company, like suppose TCS is the company, we know TCS is the biggest IT organization. TCS itself is running and purchasing Oracle as a software to run their Oracle implies to manage the employee. The fresher may be thinking that, okay, I heard TCS is very good company. They have so many software engineer and they all know software to work upon. Then why they are purchasing another tool? They should need to build their own tool, right? So we have yeah, to cover. Yeah, yeah, we uh, Piyush, uh, but we have to be uh, uh, more practical to this uh, session. Yes, definitely. Okay, allow us yeah. 30 more minutes and then we, your doubts will be clear. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. So now guys, as we said that, okay, ERP is a tool. That ERP tool is supposed to manage the resources. And we classified the main resources that we are supposed to manage is manpower. That is something related to the mankind or the people or the uh, workers that the organization or the company might be having. Second, the money. Like what is the money that they are holding? How much is to pay? How much is to receive? The third thing is the material. That suppose any company, they are supposed to deal with some product. To build some product, either the products are finished product and they need to sell or to make those products, they need to first purchase some raw material. So guys, majorly, there are three type of product families. One product family is human resource. Something that we are learning about human resource, how we are going to manage human as a person. Something that is related to financial and then there is something called supply chain. How the material will be received, how to be paid, how to be transformed, how to be made into finished goods and how then it's supposed to be sold all those things are there so guys in human resource okay anybody of you might not be able to correlate with financial or supply chain initially but each one of you might be a working professional 
or if you are not a working professional you might be looking out for the jobs or if you are not looking out for the jobs as well you might be encountered with someone with your friends with your colleagues with your parents that they might be working somewhere so you can easily correlate guys suppose what has happened there is an organization called tcs tcs want to hire five java developers okay so first of all what tcs will do tcs has decided that okay in mumbai location for project x we need five java developers so tcs has decided what tcs has decided the location tcs has decided the project tcs has decided the competency that we need a competency of java and then what tcs is supposed to do tcs is supposed to post the ad nowadays where tcs will post the ad in nokri.com or linkedin.com right and in addition to that tcs will post that ad into their career site okay so guys the journey of a human capital management to manage the resource will start when the organization need any sort of opening they will post that opening once the opening will be there guys now try to correlate with your own personal journey once you have been looking for the job what you did you look out for the, some sort of matching job opportunities by linkedin by nokri.com or by some sort of company portals you find the matching job you will start applying once you apply guys what will happen you apply the moment you apply you became the candidate for that particular job the hr will receive your application they will do the scrutiny they will select or reject if they have selected they might have contacted you they might have scheduled your interview you get scheduled into interview you pass or fail if you pass they will schedule a next level of interview if you pass they may conduct your medical if you pass they will take your manager round then they may take your salary negotiation and hr round after that they may issue an offer letter once they issue an offer letter you may accept that offer letter agreed after you accepting the offer letter guys there will be a decision that okay on which date you will be joining the organization okay so on the date of joining guys what has happened you will be converted from a candidate till now you are the candidate but on the date of joining you will become a employee of tcs now you will you get certain things what you will get guys you will get your employee id you will get your email id you will get your laptop and all those sort of things in addition to get guys once you became the employee what benefits you will get you you should be putting your personal details your address details your dependent details you will be getting enrolled into some payroll on monthly basis you will be getting your salary you will be getting some sort of leaves so employee while managing the resources these organization need to have the software to manage the absences what kind of absence maybe sick leave maybe annual leave okay how many leaves are been allocated how many leaves the employee has taken how many leaves are yet to be taken okay all these things are to be considered in that that these are the software this software provide all these sort of capabilities okay similarly for financial also there has been lot of screens lot of functionalities lot of front end applications has been provided okay guys this particular tool is a um, majorly into technical aspects but yes as you were asking we will be definitely looking into the front end application some navigations because once we know the navigation then we can only use the tools to understand and to validate what data is there what we are extracting and what we are inserting okay guys very main important thing is like once you take up this particular course okay there are major two as a consultant what are the major roles that are available the role could be a technical consultant you could be a technical consultant offering your consulting into the technical areas you could be a functional consultant or guys very important is that if over a period of time you gain an experience you started as a technical but slowly and steadily you are accessing the application accessing the screens looking into the functionality you also grab a competency of functional aspects as well so you became a mix of techno functional 
very much high in demand techno functional user who knows both the world but guys techno functional user is not something that he knows 100% technical and 100% functional as well it will be a combination once the opening will come into market companies will be start hiring what they look for they said that we need a technical consultant we need a functional consultant or we need a techno functional consultant which is a mix of 70 30 or which is a mix of 30 that you should need to be able to handle 30 percent of technicality and 70 percent of functionality so guys if you say that okay i am a 70 30 so it is not very hard coded that okay always it is 30 you may be having more knowledge on to functional or less knowledge into technical but this is the variant that the or company in open space may be talking and discussing about okay guys this particular course is morely into uh, technicalities but while part of this particular course rough to rough if we don't touch anything then also you will be ending as a techno functional for 90 to 10 but all the participants in past who has attended they claim that they became almost like something like uh, something near to 80 20 they get to know a lot of things into functional as well and guys talking about this course okay this course itself is having so many tools those tools are the functional tools only that we will be discussing into next two slides apart from that guys once you become a technical consultant or a functional consultant you are supposed to join some organization and work from some big clients in those clients there may be some projects going on into oracle fusion application what are those sort of projects guys you may be getting an opportunity to work in different type of projects what kind of projects implementation project guys implementation means adani group has purchased an oracle and they want to implement this software end to end okay they want to purchase this software and they want to implement the software for their company as per their requirement so there they will be building a team of 30 40 consultants five may be technical 10 may be functional 10 may be techno functional there may be some business user and user and two admin may be there they will create a team of these 30 40 consultant to implement the project for themselves there may be that adani group has already implemented the software and they want to enhancement suppose initially what or adani group said that we have gone live with financial but now we need to enhance we need to make use of the capability of the tool related to the human capital or we have used human capital and financial both but in human capital we have used only core hrms now we need to start using payroll as well that is called guys enhancement companies and organization may keep coming up the enhancement projects upgrade guys as we said oracle is the tool which is offering you new and new capabilities every quarter new concepts has been offered by oracle free of cost okay so companies has identified that okay for last six months or we need these requirements but earlier the software is not providing these things but now oracle is offering these things we need a team of consultant who can work for us and they could be an expertise with their own domain and they can use these newly offered capabilities of the tool to upgrade our system offering those sort of capabilities okay guys other than that there may be multiple rollouts like suppose adani group is using core hrms and payroll for india now they says that okay this is going very good this is very fantastic tool and everything is going very good let's implement this for singapore as well let's implement this for japan as well so these sort of projects are rollout projects and in addition to that guys every organization the best beauty of erp tool is why this is recession proof guys like if the organization like adani tata okay mahindra airtel if they have implemented this tool okay they cannot say that okay we have implemented and it is 100 percent successful let's remove all these consultant we don't need we just need the end user and they can use this tool okay they always need support reason being the end user is saying that okay you have implemented the absence but while i am applying for the leave it is not up getting applied it is going some error why that error is because this person does not know that he is trying to apply the paternity leave but paternity leave has to be applied within the five days of the birth of a child 
while he is applying after six months. So definitely the system will not allow and he's saying the system is not working and he's supposed to raise a ticket that I got a birth of a baby in this year. I am trying to avail my five days of leave as per the policy, but system is not aligned. So he will raise a ticket. The ticket will come to the support engineer. Support engineer will see that, okay, your child birth is on this date while you are applying after 180 days, while the policy says that you have to avail these five days of leave within the 180 days of the child birth. That is the reason you are not allowed and close the ticket. So guys, every company, every organization must need to have the set of support engineers who must need to supporting the actual core set of work profiles workers clear guys any questions queries doubt as of now because i will be taking 20 more minutes to complete uh, i have some question regarding the this as of now it's uh, okay because okay. You, you start the fusion so uh I just want to know that in EBS, we are using the AIM methodology, different type of the document. We, we, will, be cover we will be covering at the That's time okay. when it will come up. We will be covering all those things. Okay. Uh, no, uh, just give me the one answer. Is it the same in the fusion? Or no, the no, no, no. AIM okay. methodology is a dead and absolute tech, uh, thing. Okay. okay. Guys, there is a, another set of... Uh, methodology that is OUM. I am not discussing this at the moment because yes, sir, you yeah, might be from the EBS. But guys, what has happened? OUM is the methodology. If you have gone through the A methodology, you have MD50, MD70, MD90 yeah. and all those sort of things. Guys, <clears throat> somebody who is not aware of that, please don't worry. Everything will be covered. Okay. Just to answer your questions. Here, no such methodology has been discussed. This is a pure technical deal. And okay. since this is a more of a client-based application, nowadays what has happened, each organization has their own set of documents that they are preparing for implementing. Okay. Generally, I have not seen that any of the methodology is being used. Each organization has their own templates that will be shared across to take the requirement gathering and testing document, deployment document, all those sort of things. Okay. Yeah. Here you uh, tell, uh, tell us about data loading or upgrade. Uh, I have one question. Let's suppose I have one requirement to upgrade the, from EBS. I'll, to... I'll take your questions in after 15 minutes. Okay. Just okay. park your questions. We will cover up uh, and then no, we'll no, pro no problem. No problem. Okay. Yeah. So hi, guys... Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Yes. I have tell also me. one question. Yeah. You have mentioned that. Uh, yes, Mahesh. You tell me. Get... Yeah, yeah. You have mentioned that you will give the access for OIC only for two months. Yes. Right. But the uh, course is also for the 45 days. Then when we will do the no, practice no, 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 for no, the don't, no, don't, don't worry. We will be offering you. See, once you get enrolled, this particular access will be provided you from the first day. When we are going to start the OIC, we will be providing you the access. And that will, after the course also, you will be getting two months. Okay. Don't worry on that. Okay. Okay. It is yeah. not something that, okay, the course itself is two months. And from the first day, we are not providing. We understand. So you will uh, yeah, you will give the old details about the OIC or just uh, I'll cover I'll cover the course and technicalities. Okay, you will be getting a more yeah. clear picture. Okay. Yeah. okay. Fine, guys. Uh, hi, so, can you hear me? Sorry. Uh, yes, I thing. can hear you. So just I have last a question. question I'm taking. Yes, we okay. shall. So my question is that uh, primarily I want to join for the OIC training. I understand like you are going to give an overview of the ERP technical as well. So I would like to have access to the OIC training uh, instance uh, from the beginning itself so that I can practice on it. And the question so is Vish like how Vish many days of OIC versus how many days of ERP training? Vishal, so that... everything, everything will be, will be covering. Allow me 15 okay. minutes. Okay? okay. It is not being described and classified into the number of days. Okay. It has been okay. classified what we are going to cover up now. Okay, the okay. business scenario. Once I walk you through, then you will be getting a better picture. Okay. Okay, thank you. It is very important that as an individual, you will understand the complete life cycle, where you will be landing and what will be your job profile, how much you are going to earn, what will be the work that you will be involved into. That's why I'm giving you all this picture. Maybe it is not relevant to you, somebody who's having a background of these tools, but please bear with me for next 15 minutes. Every doubt will be clear. Okay. Okay, That's guys, right. so now, so now you understood that you can become one of the consultant. You understand that okay, companies might be implementing some sort of project. But guys, in these projects also, I said that okay, they might be hiring 
five technicals so all those five technicals are not for the same sort of work okay some might be the sme some might be specialized to work on to the data extraction that extract the data for me some might be the architect some might be the integration specialist suppose there are a techno functional resources but being as a techno functional resources they might be working these are the different job profiles that you can minimum look for so understand you are learning one tool and there could be different sort of job profile like suppose if i say that go to the market and learn python okay in python what you will get you will get okay become a python developer or ml developer that's it what else you will get very less scope of work but here the scope of work is very good large sort of variety of work profiles are there you can become subject matter expert project manager module lead delivery manager program manager sponsor sponsor means like okay whether we will go with this roll out or not we have already implemented this for india let's implement for us also someone should need to sponsor someone should need to evaluate the things understand and make the decision who's that sponsor guys this is sponsor may be having a 20 30 years of years of experience into oracle running the business implementing the things he understand what could be the benefit to implement the things from us if he is going to ready to invest 1 million uh, in 3 years he may be able to save 3 million that is the reason he will forecast and sponsor let's okay let's implement it for us and canada as well okay clear guys guys specifically if you go what we have examined as a part of this course curriculum our students has struck uh, struggle where to get certain tools although this technical training is not something technical coding very less coding or no coding we can say everything is either drag and drop or no code low code or guys there is something called you can say questioner so you can say wizard a wizard will open for each of the activity it will ask you certain things you will set those things answer those things and in back end oracle will do everything for us okay the code is being involved but that code is not something that we only need to return there is very advanced tools has been provided by oracle oracle will do the things for us okay guys major what we need to understand and learn guys definitely you need a fusion application we will be providing you the access integration cloud we will be providing you the access you must need to have your own laptops ms word and ms excel okay this is very important that you should need to use you must need to have a client some sort of browser because these application is a complete client based cloud tool you have to go to the browser put the url put the url username and password and access this see we are providing you the url like gmail.com netflix.com same way there is a url and username and password through which you can access the things okay apart from that guys as part of this course curriculum different tools that we are learning for to using those concept there may be certain additional things some tools to be installed okay as part of this we are going to give you maximum knowledge but certain companies might not be using these tools or they might not be installing into their local company restricted environment but it is good to know these things where to search i have made your job simple we have provided the download links here whatever the things that input are required may be lengthy documentation i have cut down the simplest of the documentations which are required to refer the things for each of the tools that we will be helping and supporting you you will be providing with this entire sheet that you can refer to okay now guys talking about the main things guys the prerequisites for this particular course you must be well familiar with the english you must be having a basic understanding of computer knowledge inter knowledge internet knowledge and if you guys are capable to write and send an email this course is for you rest everything we will handle and make you trained into this guys you should need to have the willingness to learn okay and the minimum capacity of the laptop should be 4 gb of ram then these softwares that we are going to provide you will be able to do and learn the things okay guys as a part of demo this is very basic thing that we are covering what we are going to cover we have to show what are the other contents we are having okay what are the contents into the mode of ppt what is the videos all those things we will be covering and the actual practical knowledge that how i am teaching 
what is the methodology how i am explaining the actual complex topic that we will be covering into two demos okay guys fundamentals anybody who's very basic knowledge no knowledge or being fresher guys we will be starting with very fundamentals what is data what is information data type and the only technicality guys you could see so many boxes i have filled so many boxes i have filled the course is huge and technical but out of all these boxes that i have filled different tools techniques and concept the only technicality that requires the coding to be written that is this thing only sql select query only this thing rest all is wizard ways drag and drop setting the properties that only we are going to return okay so guys hope that clear clarifies any doubts if you are having that okay you are not a pro coder or something no need we will be providing everything the tools are efficient enough that they will be giving you all the details okay guys what we are going to cover you have the questions that okay whether we are going to cover anything about functional yes guys see these concepts what is days tracking what is dml operation what are the different fusion tables and views Use. what are the different screens which are part of this particular course curriculum the basic screens we will be covering you will be getting a functional knowledge also guys this course this uh, column number d column number e this is not a guys as a technical thing this is a add-on we will be providing a pre-recorded videos and covering all these concepts as part of actual technicality being involved guys this is also not a technical thing but we will be providing a knowledge and practical demonstration and using out of these particular tools and the contents that we have been providing guys only this is the tool this admin related part is the only thing that you cannot do practical at your own i will be demonstrating the practical demonstration but due to the security of the uh, application the access that you as a student will be getting you might not be getting this still i will try to in some another instance to provide if you would like to interest but the knowledge and the uses is good enough because this is not a job of a technical consultant or the consultant with having two to five years of experience this is a job of an administrator of the application in coordination with oracle they will do all those sort of things clear quick question guys any questions you have then we will taking up the action yes please I'm sorry, Suvarna Kondete. I want to ask one question regarding is it a live project or like course is all about live project or something it's kind of, you know, <clears throat> created one. That's what I want to ask. I'll, I'll answer that. I'll answer that. Okay. 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 So, so guys, before we conclude, the major portion till here it is all functional you will be looking into the application going into the application driving into the application all these are the utilities guys no coding involved each of these tool has different meaning different purpose and different uses we will be covering all these things guys this particular tool 99 percent hands-on 99 percent practical and hands-on guys anything apart from practical and hands-on whatever we are covering that is an additional okay to make you more comfortable to make you more skilled all these concepts all the theoretical concept that we are going to cover that is a add-on to your learning but this particular tool the training has been designed in such a way that it has to be majorly into the hands-on things only okay guys talking about these things admin what admin can do to create the user that who can be accessing the application what sort of role that user might be having how they can log in how they can reset their password all these things we will be learning as part of this utilities guys these are the different utilities which has their own meanings just a second guys
guys what has happened like as part of this course curriculum we will be looking into what is enterprise application different sort of modules different sort of consulting roles and the projects that we are going to have and since this particular technical course is there we need to learn about the basics whatever the fundamentals some sort of languages we will be covering and as a technical consultant the major role 90 to 95 percent of the course curriculum that you will be practically using into day to day your job profile that is data extraction and data loading for data extraction and data loading guys we have different tools that has been offered certain tools are very common in nature that if you learn those tools like bip and otbi these are the two tools that are supposed to extract the data if we learn these two tools whether we are into financial domain whether we are into supply chain domain or whether we are into uh, human capital management domain these tools are capable for those all the modules while certain tools which are there those tools are very specific for the human capital or uh, supply chain module so guys whatever the tools as of now which has been offered by oracle to extract the data or to load the data okay we will be covering that in addition to that guys we will be looking into oic in detail everything related to oic we will be covering practicality we will be learning about how to customize and extend the application like suppose guys if i have provided this ppt to you you want to extend this ppt in such a way that okay you want to have a button here you want to add some image here that is the extension and personalization is guys something if i have provided this ppt you want to personalize the ppt in such a way that you want to change this bullet from four dotted bullet to single dotted bullet that is something your personalized experience so there has been certain tools and techniques that has been provided how many tools and techniques see under this customization and personalization these different tools we will be learning as part of this particular course curriculum okay talking about data extraction guys these are the tools like this particular tool bi publisher which is 90 percent of the work as a technical consultant any technical consultant is working into bip reports maximum work this is the more focused work okay and talking about the detail course just a second guys this is how the structure of the course has been designed this is how the course structure has been designed this is something the demo we have discussed little bit we have touched we will be covering what is the architect of the application why we are supposed to load we, we are just telling that we are supposed to load the data and we have to extract the data but what is the reason behind that all these concepts what who will be involved if we are extracting the data okay after extracting the data what we are supposed to do with that data okay there may be some reason behind that that the data has been extracted from some tools so that all we will be covering talking about the basic fundamentals and the navigation of the application how to access the application what is the different approaches that we are going to take how to log in into the application how to access different sort of applications like bip server and otbi server different sort of utilities that we have listed down as part of technical tools we will be covering each of these utilities and application in our practical uses of this particular training guys main portion as you were asking bip report if you see we will be looking in very much in detail what is sql different ways to create a data model guys major portion of the major components of bip we will be covering we will be learning how to build the report there are five methods to build the report all five methods we will be covering guys we will be learning the advanced concepts how to make a bursting delivering the report suppose the data has been extracted and we have to deliver that report to email how to deliver that we will be learning that we will be learning once the report is ready we have to migrate the report we have to move and we have to go live because everything that we are going to build that we are going to do into some lower instance that may be the developing instance and we have to migrate into the production we have to learn how to customize any bip report how to deploy and test all these features we will be covering second technology to extract the data guys similar to bip there is even more simple technology where no coding is required just drag and drop all these concepts we will be learning how to filter the data how to create the bip report through a wizard 
all these practical you were asking like whether we have the course any sort of project live project or something guys the live project concept is something that if you're learning a java if you're learning a dot net there will be a live project that okay uh, let's make a hotel website this tool is already there fusion is a tool there is nothing that we are going to build as a tool we are supposed to use the tool and understand the concept understand the scenario understand the possibilities of that tool and build up that sort of capabilities to offer the solutions for different different sort of problem statements so we will be learning those case studies like suppose there is a requirement customer says that okay in my department i am creating daily so many invoices let me get a report who's creating the invoices for which supplier maximum supp uh, invoices are getting created get me the list of suppliers who are overdue with five thousand dollars and they have not paid for last 90 days that information is required by your cfo so these are the scenarios that we will be covering you will be learning basics how to build the report and then you will be practically looking into how to see the actual things okay clear guys as of now so guys different tools and techniques we are available hdl is one of the technology that is only for human capital management to load the data to perform bulk data loading and the major scenarios major business cases is guys like suppose there is a tcs is the company infosys is the company to tomorrow what has happened infosys says that okay let me merge with tcs only so infosys has 20000 employee which are using and manage their data into sap application tcs says that okay i am the parent company you want to be get merged with me i will keep using my software only which is fusion whatever the data that you are bringing to me bring that data and i will populate that data into my fusion application so guys if manually we are supposed to create that data into fusion it will take months of time that is the reason using this technology using this tool which has been offered by oracle we will be migrating the work structure we will be migrating the worker worker is nothing but the employee guys in a very practical day to day and layman example i will say like suppose you have purchased a new phone you have the contacts into your old phone you have to migrate those contacts into new phone you might be having 1000 contacts there is a possibility that you can open your phone and start saving each of the contact one by one that is possible okay the tool also gives you the possibility that all those 20000 employee from infosys can be hired into fusion tcs application one by one but that is very time consuming activity and if you manually create it may be chances that it will give some errors or it may get recorded some wrong data so that is the reason for better efficiency and better capability we will be using these tools to load the data in one shot okay similar way guys multiple tools are available hdl is the tool hsdl is the tool ssdl is the tool each tool has a different purpose different meaning and guys as we said that okay our intention is to make you note as a developer this particular course is to consider and make and build you the cap capacity as a consultant so once you encountered a problem from the customer your job is to evaluate which tool best fits to their requirement which tool can be utilized to offer the solution and accordingly using those particular tools we will be providing the solutions okay clear guys we will be learning about the approval management guys suppose you you are being getting transferred your manager is transferring you from mumbai to bangalore okay if the organization wants that okay the transaction can be initiated by line manager the manager can transfer but it should need to be approved by hr of the organization if the hr approved then only in the system the base location of employee pew should change from mumbai to bangalore if hr rejects what will happen pews will remain into operating from mumbai location only so guys how that customization can be defined what are the transactions which are allowed to be followed and configured as a approval rules all these tools and techniques we will be learning okay 
and talking about the sandbox and the customization, the look and feel of the application, the language of the application. Suppose the organization is operating into Arabic language because they are operating from Saudi Arabia, they are operating from USA and they are operating from Japan. So the organization has purchased the tool into three different languages. So what we want, the user who is operating the software, the user who is operating from Saudi Arabia, they want to see the application into Arabic. How that is going to be configured, we will be learning all those things through which, through different tools and techniques which are available. Okay. And very important and main, main thing, guys, you must be very importantly looking out for OIC. What is the OIC? What is the purpose? Why OIC has came? What are the various tools which are available before your OIC? If we don't learn OIC, can we just be focusing on to fusion technical course? Okay. And will that be having a vast market or OIC has a better market? Which to focus more? All those things we will be learning and discussing. And apart from that, being in OIC from scratch, what is OIC? Why is OIC? How and where the integrations to be built? Different type of navigations of OIC tool. Different sort of integration style. There are two different type of integrations. And guys, different sort of versions of OIC. We have V2 and V3. The latest one is V3. We will be providing you the training with the latest one only. Okay. What are the different components? Each and everything we will be discussing and providing you the basic understanding to the advanced level understanding about how to put the data into FTP server, how to read the file, how to insert the file, how to place and do deal with the some databases, how to handle the exception handling. All these things will be covered into this particular course curriculum. Okay. Over to you guys for so, finance if you have any questions I will address and then I will show you other offerings and something very important announcement that I was supposed to make. So regarding OIC, uh, yes. would you would you be teaching us the Redwood pages, how those are configured and done? No, you, you have a misconception. OIC is not supposed to be dealing with the pages or something. OIC is so, to integrate the things. That is something... Uh, VBCS. The Redwood pages are under the VBCS, right? Visual Builder. So VB, VBCS is not covered. I'll just let me explain you. Mm -hmm. OIC is a tool. OIC majorly offer multiple sort of services. Okay. The main services that OIC is ICS. Sorry, just a second. ICS. Okay. VBCS and PCS. Okay. OIC com consists of major three portion. Okay, out of this, if anybody is saying that, okay, we are looking for a OIC consultant, we need a skilled professional of OIC. That means they are asking for OIC as an ICS. That is the major portion. 90-95% people are looking for this. We are covering this ICS. PCS and I, uh, VBCS are not covered as part of this course curriculum due to the course limit. Otherwise, it will become even more lengthier. Okay. If you are specifically and, look, looking and for what about OIC, the right, yeah, tell me. Go ahead, go ahead. If you are specifically looking for OIC, what are you trying to you say? Please check, you please check with the Kumar. He will help you. There may be batches planned. You can conduct okay. that. But my personal advice is like uh, instead of going with the OIC, because at certain point of time, you are not just building the integration. To build the integration, integration means that you are supposed to get the data, transform the data and send it across to another application, okay? Now it is very high much in demand that you know Fusion Technical plus integration, okay? That is the mere main core set of uh, opportunities that are there into the market, okay? So that is the reason particularly we have come up with this particular course because initially our course was not including OIC, it was only uh, Fusion Technical. For last uh, six, seven batches only we are conducting OIC also included into this. Okay. And will you be teaching HCM extracts? Yes, HCM extract is there. I have not specifically mentioned this because 
uh, it will be very much overhead to you guys because multiple tools anybody who's from the basic uh, understanding they might not be aware and they might unnecessarily get confused guys i just request you just attend the sessions for tomorrow and next uh, two three sessions let's understand very small small basic basic things that is the reason i have kept very basic things in the upfront the knowledge fundamentals the concepts then we will be looking into how to create the user how to log in into the system how to use different utilities how to play around with the ui to choose and do the uh, some sort of play around with the application changing the user interface changing the appearances changing the structure like suppose the structure is like this i want to change the structure like apart from this i want to do like this this is the structure change but in the application how you are going to do if you are a java developer or html developer you have to do the coding but you being a consultant the tools has been provided you just need to play around with the properties and look and feel will be changed automatically okay guys the actual actual technical tools that are these one actual technical tools are the this portion or you may consider this portion is the actual technical tool okay rest everything is a supported tool like if you are learning vip we have to send the data to some sort of server which is that server how to access the server what is the purpose of this server so we are not just practically demonstrating that okay we are running the report and the report is going to the server you have to have a solid base you have to have a solid foundation that is the objective that is the reason we are providing you this base as well before going to this sort of level and these sort of tools okay guys talking about uh, the things vip for me i am a skilled professional i may say but i for you guys i can say this may be little complex i mark that this may be the complex thing okay sdl also to understand and do the things it may be complex to understand let's consider ics also may be let's keep it as a complex category okay other than that guys otbi simple hsdl fbdi and this is very simple you see web services just to give the solid foundation for the ics we are going to cover web services very extensively in detail that is the reason two classes fbdi multiple scenarios we are going to create creating a supplier updating a supplier creating a contact details of a supplier creating a site of a supplier creating a address of a supplier that is the reason we are covering two sessions hsdl and adfdi guys just looking into the course you might be feeling that okay so many things if we select this you see how many tools we are learning how many things we are learning see almost 49 but we have even more that we are going to so uh, and cover as part of scenario learning. so will you be giving us uh, yeah, uh, will you be giving us examples on the soap ui as well as the rest api yes yes both and, both the things both the okay. things are covered and what about like xslt and json uh, which is required in yc yes that is already we have mentioned if you could see just a second guys everything that you required for the foundation that is required that will be covered just a second see here xml json everything will be covered Yes, over to you guys. What was the question? Ah, yeah, yeah, Piyush, I have a question. Hello. Yes. Ah, yeah, Piyush. I'm asking more. I have seen your uh, demo classes for the user creation. You are saying that user creation will be the practical, or how it will be? User creation. Uh, all the your question is not clear to me. Your voice is not coming. But you are saying. Uh, i am saying the user creation and the role assignment all the things this will be this will be practical practical only okay okay because in your uh, whatever i have seen your the demo they you are saying that it will not be the practical acha uh, the other question uh, what i am having that is uh, up to what extent you will cover the scm and finance reports uh, because you are saying that uh, you will cover the in there is there is there is no story. there is no discrimination about that we will be learning and focusing on to the technology okay no 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 we... uh, yeah 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 i yeah, agree with that uh, come to point to point i i am saying uh, see suppose there is some uh, 
I am some, uh, uh, just there, to do your query. Some, let me uh, let me answer. Let me answer. Uh, if your no, query is something they, that was without knowing the question, how you can answer Pius? Okay. Uh, okay. Tell me. Tell my me. question is that my question is that up to what extent in deep you will be explain the. Uh, SCM reports and the financial report, financial statement reports, which we will cover in the SCM and financial modules. Up to what extent you will explain? You please let me know. So that is not covered. See this. If you are expecting that financial knowledge of FRC, FRS, that is not yeah. covered into this particular thing. Okay. okay. Smart views, FSC, FRC, BI controller. VBCS that is not F a part F of F financial statement reports. Yes, uh, that is not that is not there. This is a fusion uh, technical. So how, how, uh, yeah, that is this a core is, technical. Yeah, this is not a core technical. This is a cloud analytics. These are part of the cloud analytics. That is a separate thing. That okay. is not covered so how, into fusion technical. Okay, how we can get the knowledge of that one? That please touch base with any... Kumar. Okay, he will okay, let you know okay. some courses are there for this as well. Okay. 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 And and for the for the how about the this uh, interfaces you can say the conversion interfaces uh, technology which are you covering in in this one? If you Up are talking, extent, if, will... okay, I'll yeah. explain you. If you are from the EBS background, that's why you are using yes. a keyword called interfaces, guys. Here yes. there is nothing that we are supposed yes, to DFC. write. Yeah, we are not supposed DFC, to write yeah. and load the thing into interface table and then run the mm -hmm. script and something. Okay, mm -hmm. there is a tool that is a if you are from the EBS background, there is something called uh, concurrent program, right? Similarly, here right. is a schedule process. Oracle has yeah, provided yeah, yeah. Oracle has provided the two uh, process that we are going to learn. And for interface, what is the purpose of interface to load the data into the system? Okay, mm -hmm. the tools has been provided. These two tools are available for supply chain and, and financial. Yeah, yeah. These two tools are available for human capital management. We will be learning mm -hmm. these tools, and through that, you will be getting an understanding. Okay. 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 And the last question is there. Uh, suppose in after this course, we are I am facing any problem into into my project. So up to why uh, up to which extent you will support in that case? The so real time ex consultancy is not being provided, but yes, definitely. You can reach out to Kumar. You can reach out to our. If you want to brush up some concept, you want to reach out and have some queries. We can connect some time to help and support you. That's not an issue. Apart from that, guys. Apart from that, guys. What you will be getting as an offering, as I have told you, you will be getting a lifetime access. You will be getting an instance access, and in addition to that, you will be getting all these assistance. Okay, the system that is going to be provided, that is a live system that will remain with you for five months without any disruption and without yeah, anything. Ah, uh, yeah, but there will be no one-to-one -one connection after that. If suppose I want to make you any discussion with the, any of the uh, that my that project, can also uh, be issue. that can also be provided. Please check with Kumar; he will assist you. Okay, Kumar will okay. be your point of contact. He will get you connect with me. Okay. Oh, well, team. Uh... Yeah, Piyush, first of all, thank you everyone for, uh, thank you for your demo. Hi everyone team, this is Kumar. Uh, I'm the director for Triotech and I will be dealing with all the further procedure team. So as Piyush mentioned uh, in the slide that you are looking here team, uh, in this program, the duration and the timings of the program, as he already mentioned, the duration will be for two months, Monday to Friday, every day evening, 8.30 to 10 o'clock, like one and a half hour session will be there every day and approximately the duration of the program will be for two months. In this, you will be getting live training every day. Along with that, you will be getting lifetime access to the videos. When I say video, it doesn't mean that we are going to share you the drive folder or something in a Google Drive we are going to upload on sharing the links to you. We have our own LMS portal, learning management system. In our website, for every one of you, the user ID and password will be created everyday sessions will be uploaded into the portal. That account for everyone will be for lifetime. And along with this, you will be getting application server access as well. For Fusion, we are going to provide private server that is for five months period. And OIC, you will be getting two months. That is also private server, non-refreshable environments. When I say non-refreshable, everything you can able to practice for this period of time that which you are using the instance. And along with that, you will be getting for every component what we are covering in the program, the structured materials, 
PPT, manuals, and also interview questions, everything. And also the resume preparation part also, we are going to help you out team. Along with that, referring to the companies from our side parallelly also will be done as part of this program. So today we plan for a demo and we have demonstrated the background of the ERP, what is fusion technical, what is OIC, and what are the total course components that we are going to cover in this training program. So these are some of the samples that you are seeing in the slide here, like this step-by-step -step manual to execute a report from starting writing a query and building a data model to executing the report and then uh, sharing the report to the other servers like that. For everything, it's not about only BIP report, for everything you will be getting the structured material as well too. So today is the demo. From tomorrow, we are going to start with our regular topics and uh, we have an early board offer for the day one enrolled participants team. The, the fee for the program is 25,000 usually. In that, you will be getting two months live training program and five months of server access to Fusion and two months of OIC. But people enrolling on early bird, that is for tomorrow, it will be open team before the class tomorrow. The fee will be 22999 with a discount price. Along with that, you will be getting two months of additional server access. Piyush, can you please open the slide? Do you have that slide with you? Just a second, let me check. So you will be getting two months of additional Fusion private server access team. Uh, usually it will be for five months. In this early bird offer, you will be getting for seven months total of Fusion and three months of OIC server access. So that will be for tomorrow team, for day one enrolled participants. So please confirm your enrollments tomorrow. Already our team reaching out to you to fill the Google form. People who already reached us earlier before attending the demo today, you will be getting the WhatsApp messages tomorrow morning for the enrollment confirmation team. But who directly joined demo today? I request please fill the form. Okay. Verma, can you please share the form again in the chat board? Please find chat board team. You will be getting the form in the chat board. Please fill that form so that we could able to reach out to you tomorrow morning in the first hour for the enrollment confirmation team. So tomorrow we will be sharing the meeting link for the enrolled participants only. After enrollment, you will be added in the WhatsApp group where Piyush also will be available in that. I will also be available team. Anything that you want to, uh, I mean, anything that we want to share with you, any materials, any instances, password updations, any communication, we will be sharing it through the WhatsApp community team. After the enrollment, you will be added into the WhatsApp community and even the meeting link also for tomorrow's class will be shared in that community, whoever enrolled. And for every component like this, assignments also will be given to you for hands-on practicing. So you can able to see the exercises that what we have prepared for every component in the slide. It's going to be an end-to-end -end practical training team. After the program, you can be able to portray yourself as an experienced professional in this technology. So if anyone want to change their existing experiences, want to showcase uh, as if already you are working in Fusion Technical or OIC from last four or five years like that, definitely you can able to do that. That level of extensive planning we are going to provide you. All ready-made templates, reports, their catalogs, we are going to provide you as part of materials like this. Okay. So, so guys, as as you could see into the screen, like for each component, practical demonstration will be provided and we have the practical samples available. OK, and this is not something that we will be just providing. Practically, I will be demonstrating and creating all these components again in front of you for BIP, OTBA, HCM, Extract, OIC. We have almost 100 plus different sort of components that are available. OK. All right. So, so, uh, Kumar, I have a question. Uh, one at your time, uh, please. Tell me. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Kumar. Uh, see, like I'm for basically from the functional background, and I'm expecting the instance uh, where I can have the security console as well. Uh, I can uh, add demo some... instances will be given, Irfan. In private okay. instance, we might be restricting security, but demos we will be getting in that security console will be there. You can practice in and around in that. How about the refreshing in that? I mean, how? Demos how... will refresh every five days or one week like that. 
depends upon mm -hmm. oracle cycle that is but private mm -hmm. instance will not get refreshed for the entire period of your training and after that till the time what we providing it will be available all right it will be great like you know for additional anything at the private instance where you can share the security console but we will uh, i will use no, no, it problem. you know you know better why we are restricting that right 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 i understand i understand okay yeah okay, we'll discuss yeah. this separately yeah sure, sure. okay okay sure uh, hi my name is lakshmi i have a question here um i have an experience uh, of developing reports and uh, dashboards with obie and vip so uh, and i've also done the security part uh, in my um, job so mm -hmm. apart from these what are we going to um, focus on this looks like you know uh, creating parameters and data sets and all is is like you know, very detailed uh, level of report development definitely yes it's very detailed level of de uh, report development will be there so from every field perspective so, in the report will be covered as part of this not only ba reports ot ba reports so ba basically what has happened if you go through the complete course content okay it's not only about the bip every technology that we are going to cover it is going to cover from the basic till the advanced level all the real time scenarios and but based on our 15 plus years of experience that we have encountered all these concepts we will be covering and demonstrating practically like we are not just letting you know what is sdl we are practically loading worker work structures all these things we will be loading and letting you understand the concept and the uses of those particular technology in each technology we will be covering the actual real time scenarios okay and uh, how about uh, oci and oic 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 is also very detailed one okay we have to start what are the basic components understanding their theoretical knowledge what are the different sort of adapters lookups different components different integration styles all those things we will be covering and then moving into the basic sort of fundamental getting familiar building the integration with like hello world addition of two number calculator if then else switch years different sort of concept it has almost uh, 30 to 40 different sort of concepts that we will be making you familiar with like uh, different sort of actions logos how to send email notifications keeping the parameters global variables okay and the practical demonstration and using of two major adapters that is a ftp adapter and atp adapter ftp adapter like reading writing deleting and playing around with the uh, file based data format and atp is to deal with the database related data into a table and all all those will be practically demonstrated in addition to that we will be having end to end uh, big sort of integration we will be integrating calling the web services calling the bip report here doing that zipping of that file put it into some sort of server or sending a notification that your file has been placed please refer and all those sort of thing will be practical demonstration only okay yes such in yeah. the situation yeah uh, demonstration yeah. Right? so it will be just demonstration or we will be able to practice ourselves everything you will be able to practice practice we will be providing you the assignments Anil, demonstration in the sense we are going to show in front of you. That is what the demonstration means. It's not high level. It's going to be end-to-end -end configuration rather. Okay. Sachin, Vamshi, any questions? Or are we good to close the session for today? I have yeah. a question. Uh, yes, so, <clears throat> so this thing is like uh, when we practice the sessions, right? If we get any questions or if we stuck somewhere, mm -hmm. is there any kind of a support structure available? Like, It'll you know? be there. We have a dedicated WhatsApp support as well, and even the call support. Or even every day after the class or before the class, Piyush will be available for more 15, 20 minutes for every detailed doubts discussion for everyone. So but along with that, yeah. Practically, if you face any challenge or something, we will discuss. Like majorly, the challenges will not be there in case any practical configuration that will be majorly with all of you. We will resolve that. Every day, we I will be available for 10 minutes in advance or 5-10 minutes for one-on-one -on -one discussion as well. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's yeah. good. So, one last question from my end. Uh, I'm Lakshmi again. Yeah. So, uh, apart from the topics you're covering from in OIC, uh, uh, we see that there are a few things that are not covered. So, how different are those from what you are teaching and uh, what, why what, are they not what? What are the things that you are feeling? Just let me know, then I'll explain. It may be it's the about... old file. The PCS no, just... and the PCS.
PCS and the VBCS. No, Ishan that is not. That no. is not. Sanjil one. Just sorry. to add on to what she said. Vishal That's been not Lakshmi. covered in this. Oh, I see. Vishal and, exactly. Vishal and Lakshmi. That whatever we mentioned here in the column N, these were not covered as part of this program. Okay, yeah, the, that's the question. I, yeah, I yeah, saw yeah. that, but uh, like, why are they not covered? Are they not going to add any value even if we it's learn? Not or... It's not adding a value, rather it's a kind of uh, curriculum that we have in place for a bandwidth. I mean, like OIC separate course, if you are expecting in that, we can able to cover these three concepts alone. But more market now inclined towards a combination of technical plus OIC. That's what we finalized the curriculum with this respective department. So actually we have a job requirement or the requirement of the project where we have to implement the Redwood pages and that comes mm -hmm. under the VBCS. VBCS correct, so that's correct. the reason I'm asking if there is a going to be a yeah, separate yeah. batch of OIC going to start. Kumar, then you can let us know. I will let you know, Vishal, but as of now, not in, but we are planning for a weekend batch from next month like that. I will let you know on that part. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, yeah, Kumar. If if there is a, uh, I uh, I listen to, uh, that you are covering the two adopters, but apart from these two adopters, if we have any queries and uh, we are facing any uh, problem in ad any adopter, then will you cover that one? Anil, one thing is, uh, if you are, I don't know, if you are already working in the system and if you are coming... Yeah, yeah, I, I have gone through the lot of... Uh, video, lot of no, no, that's uh, what... This one, let, yeah. no, no, let me clear that. What I'm telling is, if you are coming up with any kind of issues while you are practicing and all, fair yes, enough, yes. that can be covered. Definitely, we have to cover that as part of this because okay. something we are teaching you means we have to be there as a standby. But something like if you're already working in some company and you are coming up with real time job issues, that would be slight difficult for us to address because bandwidth. Okay. For, for that one, what can be the solution there. for that one? If I am uh, I am coming with that, uh, is there any solution for uh, for you to provide? Let's any discuss that, that offline. We have that. Let's discuss that offline. I will tell you. Oh, okay. I mean that's a different story. And, and, and there. What, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. One more question, Kumar. Uh, because we are discussing with the interface, which is with the EBS yeah. and kind of things. So will you provide any kind of access with the EBS instance or how will you? EBS we are not giving. Fusion to third party, how it is yeah. happening. That will be covered. Fusion yeah. and device only we, we are giving. We are covering that fusion to EBS. We are just making interface. We are just yeah, uh, the, the third party tool you are asking, but as such, no, I'm not third party, that, that is the EBS only, EBS yes. Oracle EBS. That's what see, fusion is a source application, okay. integration is OIC to which the data yes. you expecting to, to yes, uh, EBS. In my intention, yes. third party means that is a tool that what I've been referring it, but we don't have that. Okay. Okay. So basically what has happened, we did not have the other applications, exactly. okay? but we will be demonstrating and using the purpose that we are explaining this FTP, ATP, UCM file structure, the data yes, will be yes, extracted yes. and placed yes. into this so that this application will also communicate and pick those files. Okay. Exactly. That's so you, 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 you will demonstrate that, that thing. You will demonstrate yes. that. Yes. Only the thing is the other application, you can say source and destination, both are fusion for us for demonstration purpose okay this may be the location may be the xxx here the location may be the yy yeah, yeah. i'm okay. i'm saying that if if one one party is the abs and one party is the fusion then in that, in is, that, that case, is not possible for my side possible, yeah. no no, no. on premises and in cloud on premises and in cloud that is possible in this this one no practically because... it is possible but as yeah. part of our course curriculum, we cannot demonstrate. We did not have the EBS instance and all those sort of functionalities and accesses. That is the reason. So you, you will not show that. Yeah. Uh, Piyush, yes. I, I have, have a question. Uh, this said Vikrant. Yes, Vikrant. So, yeah. So basically, I'm like a HR recruiter and uh, i'm not sure i'm like a bit confused i need to go in a oracle hcm online or i need to go for the oic so as of now like you know in my company my uh, like the director is telling me like we have a certain jobs internal job posting for oic in which they are looking uh bbcs oic experience uh in in a oracle Vikrant, 
uh, considering your profile better you could have a one on one discussion with the uh, kumar or to me okay then we mm -hmm. will be able to address because your is a completely recruit and profile okay what yes. is your aspirations what is your background based on that we could address and suggest you better okay i will but, i will discuss with you. you reach out to me in the number which uh, i mean like you fill the form we can reach out to you okay so already done that yeah 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 i, I will reach out to you tomorrow morning okay yeah all right thank well, you team, yeah thank you vikram it's well thank you thank you everyone team we'll conclude here for today so as i told please confirm the enrollments tomorrow team so that we can able to get you enrolled into the course and from tomorrow the regular classes will be starting team okay thank and you and guys thank last you. request just please try to join 10 minutes or 5 minutes early so that we can start sharply at 8:30 okay yeah yeah thank you everyone thank you, thank you piyush thank you for the session okay take care thank you thank you bye